So this question comes from Kevin S. Uh, my university network computer lab has 50 Windows 7 computers. The server is Windows uh, 2012 R2. Um, I need a cheap solution to install software remotely from the server to all computers in the lab without having to install it on each computer individually. What is the cheapest and reliable option I can use to do this? Well, it really comes down to the question is, is what software are you planning to install on all these remote computers and then go from there. So the, the, the easiest way to install uh, software remotely on these computers is using some kind of, of script. So using group policies or such, you can call a script whenever the, the computer boots or the person logs in. And with a lot of software, basically what you can do is you can trigger um, an installation routine with switches. So one of the, th the, the first switches you do is you do slash Q, and slash Q makes it a quiet install. So when you, whenever you're having in installs uh, and they're quiet, what that means is the user isn't shown the installation process, so they don't see the little next screens or the cancel screens or any of that. So what you can do is you can do the uh, you know blah 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 dot exe slash Q, and then you can put a lot of other slashes in there. A lot of what are called switches in there uh, to state certain things. So you can put a switch for whether it should be a custom install or a switch for this or a switch for that or a switch for other things. Now all of those switches, what you have to look at is uh, basically that's built into the software itself. So when it goes through the installation routine, it looks to see within the command where those switches configured and if they are, it'll do the routine. So if you're going to be installing Adobe Flash, if you're going to be installing uh, a lot of the normal software out there, look for what are called un attended install uh, instructions and that's what you're doing basically what you're doing is an unattended installation um, and see what they have um, you know uh, what options they have there so that's basically the, the easiest thing the cheapest thing is to have a script but the thing is that you have to understand with that is that the software has to be built in order to be able to do unattended installs so if you have like some weird customized uh, piece of software you may not be able to do something just like a script uh, if you can't do that if we go over to the Computer. I mean, there are software options out there. Um, I found this, uh, silentinstall.org is something you might want to look at. The Silent Install Builder is a great tool if you need to quickly install a set of software on multiple computers. The Silent Install Builder allows you to easily install multiple programs with one click. You can create a setup package that contains multiple application installers. To install these applications, simply run the package. Programs will be installed automatically in the background mode, as in silently. So you can take a look at this, uh, Silent Install install.org. There is also remote installer, so EMCO remote installer. Uh, this is the same type of thing. Go through, do uh, do this. They have a free version. Um, I think the there's a free and a professional version, so like up to five PCs. If we scroll down, you can see this is like $49 if you get the professional version. So there's definitely options out there for you. You just kind of have to figure out what your environment is, what the budget is, so on and so forth. The, the, uh, the easiest thing, like I say, is being able to call a script you can do that fine with some software. Some software, uh, it works like a champ and others it doesn't. So what you'll need to do is just Google search unattended installation of Adobe Flash, of McAfee antivirus, of whatever the hell it is you're trying to install uh, and see what they have to say, you know, do a Google search. And then, like I say, uh, basically all you'll do is a group policy or be able to, uh, to run the, the command when the, the computer uh, boots up or when the, com when the user logs in, uh, the installation will, will happen and you, sh you should be good. You should be good. As long as you can figure it properly, it, it should be reliable. So, uh, so take a look at those options. There's also, there's a lot of stuff out there. So you may just want to do an additional Google search. That is an awesome, that is an awesome um, um, class I need to do. It's kind of like one of those weird subjects. It's like I learn about it. Honestly, I learn about it like every two years and then forget about it because it's one of those, you, you don't need it in a lot of environments. You need it in a decent size environment, like your environment. You got 50 basically identical computers, uh, then you need to use it. Like I say, for me, one of the issues is being a consultant and running around with all the small businesses. You had, you had so many different computers with so many different configurations. <laughs> I wasn't doing unattended installs on them because golly knows what would happen. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you're in an envi if you're in an environment and you've got twenty and above computers that are more or less identical, you definitely should look at unattended installs uh, for the the different pieces of software you have because I mean it's a lifesaver. I mean you just you create the script, 
you, you figure out the configuration, you create the script, you push it out to the server, which pushes out to the client computers, and done. So uh, definitely, I will do a class on it. I'll do a good class on it at some point, but um, take a look at what I just showed you, and if that's not good enough, do a Google search. What you're talking about is completely and utterly normal. Um, 